First, take a look. I mean, really, look. Look until you can see. How did it come to this? Go back. Go back in your memory and see. Black families fleeing white terror in the deeper South, a second forced migration after crossing the Atlantic, the dream of peace and prosperity after emancipation, lost as the Reconstruction Project crumbled. A resourceful people will dream, respond, and move forward. So they move. They arrive in West Baltimore. They are builders, artisans, teachers, soldiers, day workers, and much more. They create one of the most vibrant communities in the country. These efforts do not go unnoticed. The flourishing neighborhoods are a symbol of connection, ingenuity, intellect, black power. In a white supremacist country, symbols like these are an affront to the myth of black inferiority. So the neighborhoods are marked for destruction. Over the next seven decades, three generations of black families are subject to a continuous onslaught of predatory economic and social practices. Redlining, reverse redlining, contract lending, restrictive covenants, blockbusting, steering, the war on poverty, the war on drugs, mass incarceration, subprime lending, disinvestment, urban renewal, tax sale. The neighborhoods bend, buckle, and nearly break. And yet there is resistance. In one act of resistance, the Stop Oppressive Seizures Fund stops 60 households from experiencing tax sale. We are working to dismantle these racist policies in housing and community development. Together, we are disrupting and dismantling predatory systems that erode property rights, ownership, and sovereignty within Black, Indigenous, and all communities of color. These are acts of reclamation and restoration. Our ultimate goal, decolonization. Join us.